Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I am Chloe, and today's video is going to be my November plan with me video. I hope October has treated you well and you've had a really good month, but now it is time for November. But yeah, today I'm just going to be setting up my planner for the month of November. It is another hectic month for me in terms of school, but we will get through it. So without further ado, if you want to plan with me, grab your planner, bullet journal, or just journal or chill and just listen to me talk and yeah i hope you enjoy this video and let's just get started so before i go into the plan with me portion i just want to take this time to talk about the sponsor of this video dvoom dvoom was kind enough to send me their d2 plus speaker which is a bluetooth speaker that showcases pixel art i've seen this everywhere on social media and it looks even cooler in person it's built like a monitor and has these keys in the front which can operate the sound and also other functions such as radio alarm and even games and the best part is you can use the dvoom app where you can view other pixel art that has been made within the community and even make your own I absolutely love the look of this speaker and the best part is the sound quality is actually really good. It's both aesthetically pleasing but also loud and clear despite its small size. They come in a range of different colors and overall I think it's a great speaker. The cons though is you need to charge it regularly in order for it to operate for a long period of time and also the price. It is a bit more pricey but if you're looking for a speaker that you can use in the long run, I highly recommend this one because the quality is just really good. I will leave all their links down below in the description as well as a discount code for you guys to use in case you want to get some money off your order. I will leave it all down below. Thank you again to Devoom for sending this over and other than that, let's just move back into the plan with me portion. So for this month's theme, I did not know what I wanted to do because honestly, I have been lacking and lazy when it comes to my planner. I am trying to change that though. I'm trying to get out of the burnout of uni work and all of that and just trying to get my life back in order again. So I just got some inspiration around me, looked at the D2 speaker to be honest, and thought maybe I should do a computer slash cyber browser theme. I haven't done one in this planner yet and I just love the look of this aesthetic i don't even know what it's really called i guess you could fit it with the y2k aesthetic or just i don't know i just decided to do things that related to computers so i did a lot of browser computer-esque symbols and i really like the way it turned out i used a purple pink and yellow theme because i love that color scheme and just used a bunch of stationery that i felt like related or kind of suited this theme especially these memo pads that i've been holding for a long time i've had this since like the start of my stationary collecting journey i've had these computer like memo sheets for a while and i think it fits really well for the lettering of this month i just decided to do lettering that kind of looked like a glitch effect i got some inspiration from pinterest and just experimented with the way i used my writing supplies and i think it turned out okay it could definitely be better but it's the best that i can do right now i used a lot of white pen outlined a lot tried to do some shadow or 3d glitch effect i don't know what to call it i just really experimented a lot with this month's theme i didn't really plan too much which i usually do on my ipad i usually sketch it out but this month i just winged it and i don't think it turned out that bad Other than that, I hope that you guys have had a wonderful October. A lot happened in my life in the month of October. The first half of October, we were like stuck in lockdown and we got out of lockdown around like the middle of October and we were finally able to go out and have the freedom to do stuff as long as you are vaccinated. I saw some people for the first time in a while and it was so weird because I mean, I've been stuck at home, not really getting much social interaction or not really going out ever and it's just so weird to be outside. It almost feels like a fever dream now that we are free and we can do whatever we want. I just don't really know how to act anymore. Like, I don't know how to be a human being, if that makes sense. It's a little weird, but it feels like we were in lockdown for a while and I just lost all my social skills, which I didn't even have a lot of in the first place. So yeah, lately I have been going out, having fun, while also trying to juggle uni alongside of that 
that I am on my third term of uni for this year. It is the last term of this year and I'm only taking two subjects but it feels like I am taking a lot. I am doing 2D animation and another subject called digital illustration which requires a lot of drawing from both subjects. Digital illustration is like what the title suggests, it's just digital art and it's a lot of drawing as well as 2D animation. I, I haven't experienced animation until this term because I am a graphic design major and I'm not really focused on interactive media or anything like that and this is the first time I'm really experiencing it myself and it is a lot of work. I made it a goal to get better at drawing this year and with me having to draw a lot every week for these subjects, I'm just tired of drawing. I just want to sit back and just not do anything because every single day I have to draw something and drawing just takes a lot of time especially when you're drawing the same thing over and over again which is what 2d animation basically is it's time consuming and i get sick of things really quickly so it's just been really tough and thankfully my boyfriend is a animation major so he has been helping me a lot with drawing and stuff since i'm not that good with drawing forms and different action poses and stuff so i'm really glad that he's been helping me but yeah i just cannot i have definitely learned to appreciate animation more because of this it is weird because now i can watch anime and i can analyze the different scenes and i i used to appreciate it as well before i started animation but now i could like really appreciate it even more because i can see the different lines and the decisions that they've made to portray a certain scene or expression or you know situation i can see how they went about doing it and it's just really interesting. I think I have improved a lot in my drawing and definitely want to showcase it more on social media whether it's just posting on my Instagram or showcasing it on my vlogs. I do want to do drawing outside in my free time other than uni but right now because I am drawing so much for uni when I do have free time I just do not want to do anything because I'm that burnt out. You know typical college student feels but yeah that is how I feel and that is just what I've been doing lately over the past few weeks I've just been drawing a lot and crying and stressed out while also experiencing the real world because I've been able to go out but yeah that is a little update of what I've been doing with my life I've also been trying to catch up with some vlogs that I filmed literally months ago in August which I haven't been able to edit because like I said uni has been much so yeah I apologize for the delay in that and also also apologize for not uploading as often as I would like to but I am just trying to get through life as a college student who is also trying to have hobbies outside of her school so yeah We are almost at the end of the year which is crazy every time we get to this point of a year we just say oh my god i can't believe that there's only like this much weeks left until like 2022 or the next year like i just cannot believe that this year went fast i mean most of my year or a big portion of my year was just me stuck at home unfortunately but i really want to try to make the most out of the rest of the year because it has not been a really eventful and interesting year so i want to make more memories and make the most out of it while we can for november there's not really much interesting going on for me i just have school and yeah that's pretty much it but for december since we are moving towards freedom in sydney i hope that within december we are able to celebrate and just spend time with our loved ones during like christmas time and stuff that is going to be a hectic month with all the gift giving and all that i do not want to even think about it my wallet is going to suffer but i think it is going to be fun and i'm really excited for it Another update because I have nothing else to 
really talk about. I also watched a lot of movies recently. So I watched Shang-Chi for the first time because it only just came out here recently because we just got out of lockdown, I think. That's why it took a while. But yeah, I watched it and Shang-Chi is actually so good. I'm so happy that there is an Asian superhero that we can look up to. We definitely need more Asian representation in Hollywood or just in movies overall because we just deserve better, you know? I just absolutely love the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well. So I'm really excited to see where this part of Marvel kind of goes. I'm really excited for this new phase and also excited to watch Eternals when it comes out. I have also watched My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission. Like I was talking about earlier, I can appreciate or understand the concepts of animation. So this movie was crazy to me in terms of animation. The story was okay. I'm not gonna give out any spoilers, but I absolutely love My Hero Academia. I think it is probably up there, like my top favorite anime. So despite that, I can understand that there is a bit of like a lack of effort when it came to the story. I don't know, it was just not giving. But the animation though was like out of this world. I think it's because I have a new perspective on animation, so I could really appreciate it more. But I definitely like the movie more than season 5. That's all I can say about it. It's just my honest opinion, season 5 just was a bit underwhelming. Maybe not even a bit, it was pretty underwhelming, unfortunately. Maybe because I've been watching Jojo recently and Jojo has just been giving a lot. I love Jojo and I highly recommend it. The art style is something different from other animes, but it's definitely worth it at the end. I love Jojo. But yeah, another sort of media that I'm excited for or movie is Spider-Man. I don't know when that's gonna come out. I think it's December, but if you know me, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, I think, in any form of superhero. I love Spider-Man and I just cannot wait for Spider-Man No Way Home to come out. I even felt like crying when watching the trailer, so I'm really excited to see that and see where they go about with this multiverse thing. I just love seeing the theories about it and yeah. is pretty much it for this plan with me video and my little update chit chat session i'm sorry i didn't talk much but if you have any questions on what i used for a specific thing let me know but first check out the description box because i usually leave all the stationery that i use in the description box with some links and just names in general down there so make sure to check that before you ask me but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my plan with me session and you like the theme that i decided to go with and how i decided decided to decorate it and yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys did for the month of november so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you again to dboom for sending me this lovely pink speaker if you are interested in getting one i will leave all the details down below in the description and yeah that's pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day please take care of yourselves and i will just see you in my next one